hello guys welcome back once again in this part i'm gonna show you how can you work with json api and how can you uh, build your weather application okay so as you can see i have already created a new flutter project that is the blank project you just need to create a project okay so now i'm gonna remove all of this auto generate code so control a remove and i need to import this material that okay now this time i will do all of this code in this file okay so need to add void main and this void main contain a run app and the run app has a widget and that is the material app widget and inside this material app widget we need to add our scaffold widget so home is going to be new scaffold widget so home is going to be new scaffold widget and inside the scaffold widget we need to add all of this thing for our application so let's say first of all add some app bar app bar contain a app bar and this app bar is going to be app bar and app bar has couple of other property like title background color and many other things so title is going to be new text and i can say it weather app all right now select a background color for this app bar and background color is going to be colors or I can choose the green color okay so now if I hit this run button we will be see okay let's run it not a hot reload so if I run it hopefully we will be able to see it and in here now we can see wait a minute this one is the previous version of our application okay so here you go now we can see our application and this so let's add one icon here so app bar has another property that is called action and action has a widget property and i am gonna add new icon button and this icon button contain two parameter one is for icon and another one is for on pressed mail so for icon we need to add an icon here so icon is going to be new icon and icons dot search okay and what does this on press do this on press do when we will click to this icon if you want to do any activity then we can do it here so as of now we don't need to take any action or any other functionality i am just gonna add some debug print so that we can see some message to our console just for check okay so let me explain it again what i did here so i created the main uh, void main function that is the main function for flutter then we need to use this run app and the material app inside this material app we need to add our home keyword then we need to add the scaffold widget then i simply defined the app bar so app bar content title and this title is going to be this title and then we need to, then i defined the background color and that is the this background color okay then after that i added these actions and that is a widget and inside these actions we can add the app bar icon button that i added here and here you will see okay let's run it actually so here you can see the search icon now if i click and if i open the console then we will see this message okay so that is the basic thing is that now as i said that we are gonna work with api so for doing this we need to add some packages okay so go to this pop dart packages this website and in here you need to search the http package and that will help us to get the data from the server and here you can see the first one the http and in here you will see the all the instruction how you need to work so go to the installation and in here you will see the dependency and you just need to copy this dependency so the copy the dependency and now go back to this pubspec.yml file and in here you need to paste it after this copper chain icon paste it here and go back to your main file and then we need to get this thing so click the tools and go to this flutter and then in here flutter package get if we see the execute code zero that means we are all done see the finished with exit code zero that means we don't have any error now we are ready to go now 
in here you will see the install the instruction how we need to work and here in here you will see we need to import this package so copy this package here and then we need to import it here you can paste it here and we need to add and in here we need to create a variable for this http so we can do it this way so as http so this http keyword or we can say the variable will help us to get the data okay so now we need now we need to add couple of other packages like dart.async and as well as we need to use the dart converter okay so this is the basic thing that we need okay now it's time to search for the api okay so as i said that we will build a weather application so for doing a weather application we need to go to this weather map api where you will see so basically if you are uh, working for a production based application then you might need to do registration but as of now i don't want to do any registration or any other thing i can work with for the public api so go to this kind of the data you, will, you can check all of this other api as well so i'm gonna click this api doc and in here you will see a lot of things by city name then the api call some basic uh, instruction actually nothing else so you will see this thing okay so cities and if i click these cities within a rectangle zone if i click here then i will see this list not this one we can we can choose actually first one that might be good by city what was this not this one okay so go back here go to the main page uh, instead of the so where it is okay so instead of the current weather data we can go for the hourly forecast so this hourly forecast has huge data okay by city name go to this by city name and in here if i click this is the xml version and this is the json version see it has huge data i'm gonna work with this data so that you can understand how can work with the complex data okay so now we need to open a uh, json formatter json formatter if you search it on google then you will see the first website that is the json formatter and validator and i'm gonna copy this link and then paste it here then click the pro process then you will see the json format here and in here you will see the main data actually the same data but in here we can see it okay so in here this is basically the map system okay so this is the main data that is list then the city those thing okay if i minimize it if i expand this list inside this list you will see this dt and then the main and the main has another position another item of data temperature temperature minimum maximum pressure sea level and lot of things inside after that mean it has another weather lot of activity actually okay and then this one is the first list of item then this one is the second list of item okay so this has couple of data so if we want to add this thing like the if i click this weather then we need to select this list then the position then the weather then the this field okay the for the for the for, for the main okay so we are ready to go now go back to your id and after this main method in here we need to create another method and we need to use the method type is future okay so maybe you already know already know that uh, future is basically future used in flutter to get data from the server either you are working with uh, firestore firebase or json data whatever okay so as i said that all of these data are in map format like this one is the key this one is the value this one is the key and this one is the value okay and for this this one is the key and this item is the value so in here we need to use the future type as a map okay and now in here we need to define our in here we need to define our method name i can say get all data and this all data should be a synchronized process as i said that we are getting data from server we must need to use this async keyword okay and in here you see we we used this dot async package okay 
now in here first of all create a variable we can say var api so var api so var api and in here you need to paste your api data link api link actually that is the main url that is the this url this url okay from here by city id from the json then this api okay we are done now we need to get this api show this http remember that i i said that we will use this http you can define any num here okay now create another variable and call it bar data is going to be now we need to use this await keyword then the variable that is http dot get in here we need to use the our api that is our this api okay so what we did here using this http package we are getting this api and we are storing this api data inside this data variable okay now we need to convert this data variable to the json body so how can we do this create another variable we can say json data and then we need to convert this so json dot decode we need to de decode it and then in, you can see the keyword source then our source is our data dot body all right so json data is going to be json dot decode data dot body okay now we need to return our json data so we can say return json data okay so let me explain it again what we did i created i have created a method the method name is get all data and the type is the future and as i said that all of this data are in map format that's why we need to use your map if the data were if the data was in the string format just let's say just in this data then we can then we could use string here okay or whatever data type it is so now then we need to asynchronize you need to use this asynchronous keyword and after that inside this method i simply created a variable for api where i pasted my api link then we created a another variable called data and in this data await http dot got get api through this http we need to get our api data so that's why this http dot get api now after that we need to convert it to our json data so that's why we need to use the json decode so i created another json data variable name and then json dot decode then our data that we wanna that you want to decode then we use this data variable dot body then i simply return this json data so that is the main thing so that is the main thing for our application okay so i think that's it for this part in our next part we'll print our data in our console okay thank you